Hey everyone, so it was requested that I talk about Dennis Rickman as part of my EastEnders character profile series. That's a mouthful. And I... I didn't want to do this one, but I really did at the same time because I fell in love with EastEnders in about 2004 and I was uh, head over heels obsessed with the show. You know, everything I breathed, I slept, I ate EastEnders, if I can really say that. Every single thought I had was about EastEnders. All the projects we did at school, I made to be EastEnders. I wrote poems, I drew pictures, I made peg bags, don't ask. So from about 2004 till about 2006, early 2007, I just lived for EastEnders. And there were a few characters during that time which made that for me, you know, um, not, not, well, Sonia, Chrissy, Sharon, Sam, and Kim Metcalf, Sam, and Dennis. And Dennis, well, Nigel Harmon was my, my first ever proper celebrity crush. You know, most girls, you know, dote after five or Backstreet Boys or something when they were younger. No, Dennis was my first proper celebrity crush. And I mean, I was obsessed. I carried his picture around in my purse. Um, you know, I used to doodle his name at school and, oh, I just loved him. <laughs> I absolutely did. And for me, Dennis Rickman as a character, though, when I first, when, when Dennis first came into it, when Sharon and Vicky went to meet Dennis, I didn't like him. He, he seemed to be too much gangstery. He just didn't seem right. I just wasn't keen on him at all. And then we learned more about him. And I was like, actually, you know what, that's the guy I'm going to marry. And that pretty much held up until... After, after I'd learned about David Tennant, but basically as soon as I saw David Tennant on Christmas Day 2005, that was swept under the rug and David came along and that's the guy I will marry. But yeah, so Dennis, it took me a while to get to like Dennis. I think I actually, this is kind of a weird thing to admit, but I think I started to really like him when he started to have the kind of affair with Sharon. That's obviously a very... Oof, a very weird thing to think about, you know, the half-brother and half-sister having a full-blown relationship with one another. And obviously it was a lot for people to handle, a lot for Vicky to handle, first of all. Um, you know, and then you had Dirty Den to deal with, and then everybody else in the square. But people actually seemed to come around quickly to the idea, and after, you know, after a while, they just forgot that they were related, and they would just turn out to be a proper couple. And then when they got married, I thought it was so 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 sweet I, I watched the episode about five times and I recorded it on my phone I actually have a picture somewhere bear with me I'll see if I can find it okay I can't find it just now but it's a, a heart pic like a heart picture frame and in it it's the kiss um, Sharon and Dennis's first kiss as a married couple that picture has been in there for about six years now I have shown it in another video but I'll show you in a future video when I do Sharon's profile and I just really, really loved them. And all was going brilliant, you know. Um, my favourite Sharon quote. But it's my wedding! It was just all absolutely fantastic. And I loved him so, so much. And it, everything was going really well for the character. And I thought, you know what? They're going to have a great, great life. And when Sharon found out she was pregnant, I thought, jealous. But brilliant, you know? Dennis is going to be a daddy. That's great. Um, oh, oh, remember the po the coin jar when they had to put a pound in every time they... Yeah, that was quite funny. And then New Year 2005 came along and ruined everything for me. Dennis died and it was horrible. Oh, my eyes are starting to well off because I didn't know it still affected me. It was just really, really beautiful. It was such... Oh, it was horrible but it was beautifully done. You know, when he... When he got stabbed and he staggered along and the last words he uttered was, Who did this? It was, oh, it was heartbreaking. It was so sad. My dog is actually called Rolo Dennis Harmon. You know, Dennis Rickman, Nigel Harmon, Rolo because of the colouring. And he actually shares a birthday with Nigel, Nigel Harmon, 11th of August. And that's not, you know, I didn't make that birthday up. That is the actual birthday my dog has when he was born. So I thought that was a really brilliant coincidence. And after that, I spent about three hours crying into my dog you know i was how old was i 13 12 12 or 13 at the time i was heartbroken my first crush had died and it was well not literally died but you know dennis the character that was it no more dennis no more dennis that year that whole year for me was just ruined i was i was so annoyed i was like, i just cannot believe it and i still to this day cannot get over how they how they killed him off I've actually been fortunate enough to meet, meet Nigel. 
I didn't get a chance to see him because there was a massive crowd, but I managed to get a picture of him, not with him, but of him, and I got his autograph, and, you know, it was it was beautiful, and I was like, ah, look, it's him. Obviously, this was five, six, seven, eight, nine, three or four years after the character had been killed off, so I was kind of a bit more sane by that point, and I had stopped crying, but it was, oh, it was beautiful. I really do miss the character, and sometimes I sit and think, you know, what I wouldn't give for him to do a dirty den and come back, even though we know that that one is not, that one is never going to happen. I love how Sharon called the baby Dennis. I thought that was very cute. I hope, it, you know, everybody wants Sharon to come back. Everybody wants Sharon back and Chrissy back. Everybody just wants this fantastic, this fantastic cast back. But now it's all youngsters and meh. But I really do miss him so, so much. Definitely one of my all-time favourite characters. My first ever crush. That means an awful lot to me. I believe Dennis is a character played a lot in, of my TV love and Nigel Harmon obviously played a massive part in that as well. But one of my all time favourite characters and I just love him entirely. I really do. I always will. But yeah, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Um, my next EastEnders character profile is scheduled for Friday the 27th. I have my, my, my schedule here. So if anybody requests things I kind of write it down in a place where it would suit. But my next, my next Cory character profile is, no, the Cory character, Cory one's 27th, the EastEnders one is the 26th, which is Sharon Rickman. So I will try and find that picture by then, so if you watch that one as well, you will see the picture I was on about. Uh, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments, let me know your thoughts on Dennis Rickman. Um, any requests for further character profiles or just any videos, please do let me know. But that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!